Blake, congratulations, uh, champion of the 2016 Launceston International. Uh, what a feeling it must be after a fantastic week. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's an unbelievable feeling. Um, you know, playing some good tennis all week and, uh, you know, really hung in there in all of my matches and chipped it down. Um, but obviously, bringing that form into a final, a semi final, um, is very special for me and to get my first title here in Australia is extra special. And Blake, for yourself, you came into the tournament with a wild card. What were your expectations and what did you want to get out of this week? Well, I think I really wanted to bring in some of the form that I had in Canberra, the Challenger, where I played for dollars and was playing well. Um, you know, I just kept training hard and knew that you know tennis is a funny sport and things can happen you know, at once. So for me to come out here and just take every match as it came and you know treat every match the same and compete hard and you know bring all those things to the table, I knew it was going to hold me instead. You've had Peter Lipchak, of course, down here with you this week as well. What's he done for your game and how's he helped you as well uh, mentally get up for every game when you're playing, obviously, players that are ranked higher than you? I mean, Pete's been unbelievable um, addition to the team. I mean, we've been working with each other on and off for a couple of years and, you know, just looking at his career, the way he competed and the way he went about it out there on the tennis court makes, you know, inspires me to do the same when I play, um, you know, and I feel like when I'm out in the court, you know, we're one sort of thing. So, um, you know, this for me is really special. You know, be here and have this win with you. And the final today, that opening set was really tight. You had a few set point opportunities, but Golly Bear was able to save them and eventually take it out in the tiebreak. What was your mindset then when you sat down after the opening set? Yeah, I think I was still feeling quite positive. I mean, I played some really good tennis. Um, you come up with some great points on those set points. Um, but I really felt like I hung in there well. I knew that if I, you know, my, my body was fresh, I was feeling good. So, you know, I feel like it you know, wasn't done and I could, you know, compete and come out the next set and really show him that I'm there. And I felt like it paid off. I really lifted my level and, you know, come out the other side. And Golubev was obviously just after that first set, he, he obviously ended the second set with great confidence. But you were able to really get that pressure on early, get the breaks early in the sets and build from there. Did you feel the momentum swing? Definitely. I felt like um, I was returning well. I sharpened up a lot of those things throughout the uh, third set. Um, and, you know, just making that extra ball and making it play. Um, and I felt like I served a lot better in the second and third set. And I think that all um, weighed up to really help me out there and play some good tennis and close it out. It's been a great week for you personally, obviously, in Launceston. Tell us your thoughts on uh, the complex and also the city and, and the support that's been out here this week in uh, fantastic weather as well. Oh, yeah, I mean, the weather's been spectacular. The whole, you know, the whole town is unbelievable. I love the heritage about it. You know, it's great coffee, great food everywhere. And, uh, you know, I don't really want to leave, but, um, you know, I definitely will be back here next year. I really love to be here. The facilities here are top-notch and the ports and the way it's run is just, you know, like an ATP 250. So, for me, it's very special. Blake Mock, congratulations. A wonderful uh, breakthrough for you here and uh, bigger and better things to come. All the best for the rest of the year. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks a lot.